Hey, I'm Maria back with another video. It's um, 6.40. My goodness, the day is going by so fast. And um, it was actually a pretty good day today. You know, I got some things done, kicked back and talked to a, a friend on, on, on um, online. And it felt good to actually have a conversation, you know. Um, I really wanted, you know, uh, company, you know what I mean? Like, it would have been cool that she would be able to come over and we could have, like, tea and stuff like that and just talk, you know. I was in the mood for that today, so, you know, I made an extra uh, effort to stay online and talk a little bit more. Um, good conversation, by the way. Anyway, I was thinking about how, um, you know, uh, how, you know, when, when other people decide your life, and when other people make decisions for you and the situation that led up to all of this in the first place. I'm thinking about, you know, the job that I was working in Chatsworth at the place um, where, you know, my first, what I consider to be, um, major mobbing occurred, which was actually, I would say the Murray's was the worst. That was the worst mobbing that I, I had to deal with. But um, at Organized Sports, it was, um, it was, you know, really creating a lot of stress. I mean, after a while, it didn't take long because I got there in 2007. The weird stuff started happening in 2008. By the time 2009 rolled around, I mean, I was just like, I just needed to get out, you know. But like I said, you know, that year was not really good when it came to jobs. And chances are they were already starting to manipulate my jobs already at that point because I was um, trying desperately to look for work, okay? In, in Los Angeles area, I mean, people are always looking for bookkeepers at that time. And so I was desperately trying to find a job, right? Because I wanted out of that place. It was getting so bad. And I was sick all the time, and, but I went to work anyway because, you know, I had the responsibility. And, um, you know, I, I remember just getting to the point where I just really couldn't take it anymore. So I... I got on disability, which I was like really not happy about, but it, it floated me for a little bit, you know, and so I would say being in that situation, of course, put me in a financial bind because, you know, I couldn't pay for my, my the, the cards that I was, I had and everything was becoming a nightmare, but still, you know, I sucked it up and I kept thinking, okay, I'll start all over here, come back to a place that the cost of living is pretty cheap, so I came over here and started working over at the Murray's place. And, you know, it, it started off really good. I mean, I really liked going to work, and I was happy. I was happy to go to work, you know. I um, enjoyed my job, you know. And um, then all of a sudden, it just started getting weird. I would say it started getting weird, like, a little after Joel moved in. And um, I would say that started happening in 2010, because I started there in 2009. And it just got absolutely crazy. Crazy. Um, so, um... You know, that, that that includes bizarre, you know, vendors and um, the employees. And, of course, the owners were being, like, really stupid. And I couldn't figure out what the hell was going on because, you know, I was really good at my job. And I, I was taking on far more responsibilities than I should have. You know what I mean? And with the same skills that I had, I felt as though I was getting more people coming to me for problem solution, I mean, um, solutions to problems than they were the general manager. I mean, because I felt as though they were coming to me because obviously I was giving them answers and being very helpful. And um, anyway, aside from that, um, you know, that job ended up in a nightmare because of the multiple mobbings and people taking credit for my work. I mean, that really pissed me off because it's not a matter of ego. It's a matter of acknowledgement of my job well done. And, you know, it's like they felt as though my skills were... Um, something to be toyed with and they're not okay people there should be an evaluation process in the workplace and unfortunately um the murrays didn't know how to evaluate people they thought people who kissed their ass and went along with their stupid games were basically good employees okay that's the mindset of these fucktards right so anyway um i ended up just being really sick and you know of course i had to leave that job and then, of course, all the, in all the mobbings and everything. And meanwhile, what's piling up is a, big, a back load of debt. Because you start off with a certain amount of money, and then they keep reducing your income. And they come up with bullshit um, issues about, oh, well, you know, I, I, I get an idea of why they're feeling, feeling like they need to reduce my income at this point. Okay, I, I have my suspicions as to why. The thing is, it doesn't matter. 
You know, I'm a woman who is supposed to make those, I'm supposed to make those decisions for myself. Okay, what these people have already caused, okay, with their mobbings and their bullshit, they've already ca caused major financial disasters. And now they're going to sit here and offer me jobs that pay less. That's bullshit. It's bullshit. These people, I mean, I can't even tell you how unfortunate it is that I even have to know them. Okay, I had to know them, okay? Had, in the past tense. Meaning, I don't know them anymore. And I guess, by their behavior, I probably never did. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm so glad that I, I figured this out. You know, the most I probably I possibly could is to what the hell actually went on. And this is it. This is the whole thing. Except there's bits and pieces that I don't know how people actually came together, how they all clicked. I'm assuming through Facebook, maybe. But all of this bullshit is exactly what it is. It's bullshit. You know what I mean? People bringing family issues into the workplace where they don't belong. Um, people acting as if, you know, uh, they have the right to express their personal opinions and their personal lifestyle preferences onto person. This is the United States of a goddamn America. Okay? I'm old enough to make my own decisions. I have been for a very long time. Okay? Um, I'm not interested in people, you know, imposing bullshit that's against the law onto my life that I never asked for. You know what I mean? That's what pisses me off. Okay, I have the right to make as much money as I want to. In reality, I should be making having a six-figure job. I really should. Okay? That's how much I know. That's how good I am. All right? And I think it's pretty obvious. It's very obvious, okay? So people coming in after they've already fucking cleared me out, fucking drained me, and put me into survival mode for the longest period of time, now they're going to turn around and say, oh, you know what? Well, she doesn't need to make that much money. Why? Look what you fucking done. You know what I mean? This is what irritates me. So this is not my fucking fault. It's not. It's not my fucking fault. You know, and I'm tired of fucking paying the price for it, you know? Um, yeah, so I was thinking about that today. I will say, though, that as I was thinking about it, I wasn't thinking about it so much in anger like I have been before. You know, like, before, I will tell you, I was just so pissed off. I mean, I literally wanted to see these people that I worked with so I can beat the shit out of them. And rightfully so. Okay, that doesn't mean I ever want to encounter them again. And I strongly suggest anybody who sees me from that time period, you better walk the other way. Do not talk to me. Do not make contact with me. Don't acknowledge me. Okay, because you're about to get a fucking tongue lash and you'll never forget. And I will do it too. And rightfully so. For being stupid. You know. But anyway, um, I am, um, <laughs> you know, I was thinking about all of the um, the bullshit you know the cowardice behind it it's like um, how dare you how dare you tell me what I'm supposed to make how dare you tell me how I'm supposed to live and how I'm supposed to prioritize my life how dare you tell me to wear shit clothes that I don't have any fucking interest in wearing how dare you tell me anything about who I am you have no goddamn right. Nobody has any goddamn right. This is the United States of fucking America. Okay? You're trying to reduce me down to your pathetic state is what you're trying to do. And I'm not interested in playing it. Okay? Let everybody else wear tennis shoes. Let them wear super moderate flip-flops. That's what they want to do. That's their choice. Okay? But what you're doing is you're picking on shit that doesn't even matter. You know? And then also, the, the pisses me off is trying to adjust my fucking income. How dare you? How fucking dare you? You do not ever touch my shit. You know? That is mine and mine alone to make those decisions. No one else's. There's no excuse for somebody being that stupid. There is none. Unless, of course, you're jealous, competitive, or, or evil. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that, that kind of pisses me off. But still, overall, it was a pretty good day, you know?
So anyway, I, I just had to say that. Wrapping up this video, I'll be back with another one later.